Welcome back to Bolts and Brass, folks. Today we are back to talking about ammo prices. We're, I mean, I, I'm a little late. It's mid-October, but I did one in later September, so it eh, works out. Ammo has continued to come down. For the most part, we are seeing decreases in price that are decent. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing dramatic other than one. Uh, and it's a biggie, but we are not seeing anything crazy, but it's mostly moving in the right direction. Uh, we did have a couple that went up, so let's get into it. 22 long rifle, six cents, that is down 5%. Nine millimeter steel cased, and this is again, it has to be regularly available. It can't be, you know, limit two boxes or something. 25 cents. Another penny down, so that's 4% down. 9mm brass cased, 26.4 cents. This one was actually up 2%. Not huge. I think that just comes down to who was, uh, who was in stock and who wasn't. 40 cal brass. I don't do steel case 40 cal uh, for this, so 20, no, sorry, 30 cents. That is down from 31.5 cents, so that's down 5%. 45 ACP, 43.4 cents. That is up just a hair, 1% increase. So that's not bad, right? Again, we're just talking kind of who's got it in stock is the, is the real factor there. Uh, if the guy who was previously lowest is out of stock, everything went up one notch. 357 Magnum, that has been really doing weird stuff. 53.5 cents, that is down 3%. Uh, you know, it goes up, it goes down, uh, I'll take it. 53 and a half cents was a significant change. Now here's the biggie, and you guys who've been through this system before with me know what's coming. 223 steel cased, as in like Toa, USA Forged, Wolf, whatever it is, uh, you know, Sergeant Major, uh, 31 cents, down five cents. That is 14% down. 14 freaking percent in a couple weeks, really. Wow, holy shit, right? Uh, that's freaking awesome. Now, the price did, you know, catch back up to the prior price pretty quickly as you went through the vendors, but, you know, it was there. It was somebody I would be perfectly happy ordering from. It wasn't some nobody, you know, never heard of fly by night guy. Moving on 223 brass, 556 brass. 37 cents, down another two cents, that is 5% down. 308, this is uh, steel or brass, so in this case, probably steel if I remember correctly, 58 cents. Now, hasn't changed, that's flat. It did look like, if anything, it was a little higher overall. Uh, I think that's just availability and who had it. It wasn't dramatic or anything, uh, but so take the 58 cents with a grain of salt. I think it was like two places had it at that price. 308 match. If you remember guys, this is, it has to be brass and it has to have the word match in the name. It does not necessarily have to be truly high-end ammo. In this case, it was pretty partisan. Their match grade ammo and it was still $1.12, hasn't changed. 0%. 6.5 Creedmoor. Has to be brass cased, doesn't have to say match or anything, but has to be brass cased. In this case, Aguila, not Norma, <clears throat> one dollar, dollar around. That is down six percent. Not bad, not bad at all. Six point five Grendel brass. We're not talking about the steel case stuff, just brass cased. It's actually up two cents, so also two percent. It is what it is. Uh, I think that again comes down to vendors. Who has it in stock? I did not look at the steel case. We hadn't been doing that on here and I didn't want to confuse things. But I'm guessing that steel case is continuing to do well. 300 blackout, last one, down 58.3 cents per round. That is down 3%. You know, never hurts, right? A little cheaper, a little cheaper, a little cheaper. Keep in mind with 300 blackout, I only do 125 grain or lighter bullets. I'm not talking about supersonics. 
I'm not talking about the stupid 147 or 150 grain that is not meant for 300 blackout. I'm only doing 125 and lighter. Overall, down. Like, I mean, the, the things that were up were only up a little bit, right? The things that were down were doing pretty good. I mean, uh, 2%, 3%, 6%, 14%. I mean, like, it was it was respectable for a one-month change, right? Uh Hopefully we see this continue. We are definitely seeing a lot of wins in the Second Amendment movement. We'll see what happens. Uh, but for now, it's still a buyer's market on ammo compared to where it's been. Feel free to gamble that it'll keep going down. That uh, seems like a good bet. But we are we are hitting the election cycle, and weird shit happens, folks. Uh, you never know. It's not the presidential election, but, you know, shit happens, guys. So not saying don't buy, I'm not saying buy, just here's the pricing. Take care, have fun, stay safe, keep shooting everybody.